Hello guys, today I want to show you how to change the Cisco Unity Call Manager IP address in the publisher and subscriber. But before to start, uh, I have to say this is uh, this video for education and if you want to set up and developing, you have to buy the license and certificate of the Cisco and this video is just only for education. Uh, let's go to talk about the how to change it. Uh, in my topology is that uh, here I put I put the CUCM publisher and CUCM subscriber inside the VLAN uh, 100. As you can see it, the IP address of it is. Uh, 192, 168, 1 and 30. And it's here. If I refresh it, it's connected. But, uh, and the, my VLAN is 100. It means when you uh, go to the 100, my uh, VLAN, uh, VLAN tag uh, is 100 and it's it means it's a separate to the other vlan and in my cisco switches is that let me show you i put the addresses let me make it bigger. Yeah. My uh, VLAN 100 is that uh, one, uh, 192, 168, uh, point 1, point 0.1.1. This is my address, default address of uh, VLAN. And I activated IP routing to reroute to and connect to the default gateway when i change the ip address of uh, vlan i don't change the vlan 100 the only i change it i change uh, the addresses here let's go to the here right now my address of the publisher is here and my subscriber is here the first of all you have to change first at first you have to change the cucf subscriber and then when you change it to the this ip address you can change the your publisher to this ip address and uh, another things this is my vlan 100 is here and when i change the ip address i uh, change my ip address in vlan 100 it means this is a default gateway of my vlan uh, but let's go to configuration be aware when you want to connect it you have to be sure the cucm publisher and subscriber have a activity to each other it means the database and all of the component of the cucm publisher and subscriber sync to each other and talk to each uh, each other and if they don't talk uh, don't talk to each other uh, they can connection and they can sync syncing so that i uh, first of all i check it and i show you i go to service ability here and go to the service activation cucm publisher this is my publisher and subscriber let's see and i go to the subscriber inside the publisher to see and check the whole of the component has been activated here you know the, all of them are activated and also the publisher also activated it's thinking okay 
you see all of component and features has been activated and it means the subscriber and publisher can resync uh, database and anything else between them and then we go to this is the my ip address ter, uh, 35 and i'm going to administration panel okay you can go to the server and find yeah here i'm first of all i'm going to change the subscriber inside the publisher publisher uh, subscriber never ever change only just the uh, uh, <clears throat> leverage by publisher and i change here one one to 100 that's it and also enterprise parameters yes you have to you have to check it all of the name or addresses of the publisher should be same as here that's it okay right now i'm going to here in the publisher and we can see the server yeah bingo it's a 100 i added here i added it here and in the subscriber is activated and right now i'm going to os administration in the subscriber okay i'm going to here setting ip ethernet yes i'm added <clears throat> there are the two methods to change the ip address first of all i uh, change it in the graphic mode in the web base mode and second is the cli that i you show you save it's a take a time to activate it and then i'm going to change the publisher change here save and then go to os administration in the publisher it's take a time to restart the services to go back the interface to 100.44 here now i'm going to change the ip address the ethernet setting ip and add okay this is a one method and the second method in the common line cli let's go to check it
uh, I <clears throat> can show show network ETH zero but it's not activated right now and here in the subscriber show network eth zero yeah it this this have uh, this activated the gateway is uh, 100.1 and the ip address is the 192.168.100.44 and we just take a time to change it again yeah it has been activated but if you want to change the ip addresses uh, in the command line you can write a set network if you use the tab it can uh, predict what you want to say or if you use the um, exclamation exclamation sorry uh, you can see the the parameter that you can type it ip adh adh zero and yeah and i can write the ip address 34 subnet mask and default gateway that's it's the address of my vla switch yes it's going to be restart the network interface of the CUCM publisher. Okay, right now, let me ping it to be sure. We have no, we don't have a ping to uh, 192.168.101. No, we don't have a ping. And also we can ping the, ping the subscriber. And we can see we don't have a, uh, ping, pinging, yeah. Okay, let's go to the connect to the connect to um, switch. Where it is? Sorry. Interface VLAN 100, IP address uh, 192.168.100.1, the subnet mask, no shutdown. And let's go to ping our system. First of all, I ping 100.1. Yes, I have a ping and I want to ping the subscriber. Yes, this is my IP address of my su subscriber and my publisher. Yes, my publisher is changed easily. And I add. Uh, And I don't change the VLAN tag 100. The only that I change is uh, IP address of uh, VLAN interface. But it's a little, it need the time, but I add It's going to get back, but it's need a little time to 
the Apache and all the system get back. Or we can restart both of them. We can sorry. You can restart the Cisco Unity call manager by typing util system restart. Let me ch check again. No, it would be nice to restart completely the system. Start. Yes. Let's take a time to restart it. Utils system restart. Yes. And I pause the video to get back the yeah, get restarted both of them, publisher and subscriber.